Hi all, just wanted to uh, show you some progress we've made with our uh, trash to treasure little piece I found in the uh, trash and now I'm ready to salvage it and make her over. So back here, this used to be a desk piece and I'm just going to make it be a end table or a nightstand. So back here was the back panel. Oh, and there's Cinnamon, my little sidekick. Hi Cinnamon, boo boo. Hi, can you say hi to everybody? She's hiding back there, so the lighting's kind of bad. There she is. So what I did was, first piece, um, I just stuck in a piece like this to kind of fill the gap. And I took my pencil, ran up my pencil to kind of create marks of how big I needed the piece to be. So I went ahead and did that. And I am going to stick in this piece that I already cut, and I already cut it with my um, Ryobi uh, circular saw. So I'm going to fill that piece in kind of like I just did there. Cinnamon's got to help me and check it out. And then I'm going to take my Gorilla Wood Glue and I'm going to fill in down that piece. And then there is also a little bit looseness back here because it's separating. So I am going to take that and put my glue in there and then I'll clamp it down once all the wood fillers in there. So I think Cinnamon approves with it. Um, so once that's done, then I'm going to take, I would usually take a wood filler, but that's over at my workshop and today I'm working in the garage. Um, so what I'm going to use is what I have on hand and this is how I work. Um, I have this Maison Blanc, is the paint company and it's called Glissage. It's actually an embossing cream and it, I have discovered after using this product for all my raised wood stencils that it actually works great as a wood filler. So I already kind of started filling in in some of the holes. And I apologize because my lighting is horrible, horrible in my garage. So let me uh, kind of change this around. And maybe we can see a little bit. There we go. Okay, so you can kind of see here this um, hole that I have. And I just, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to kind of fill these holes just like you would wood filler. Um, if you don't have a little spatula tool, you can actually use like a credit card or a room key card. So, you know, kind of save those room key cards from the hotel rooms um, when you check out. So basically just kind of use it as a wood filler. And then this is going to dry. And once this all dries up, you know, I'm going to tr treat it just like wood filler. I'm going to go back and I'm going to sand it down. And then I will fill in this piece after I glue it, once the glue is dry, I will do the same thing. I will take that filler and kind of fill that in and fill in all the little gaps, smooth it out, and then she will be ready to go ahead with the next stage. So in the meantime, I did go ahead and cut my wood boards from my first video. I did cut the wood boards and those were gonna be placed, they're gonna be sanded down, stained, placed on the top and attached um, using my uh, Craig jig and that's the next stage um, once i get that done maybe i'll kind of show you how i stain and kind of how my and maybe i'm going to do some decoupage on the top also so she's coming along and can't wait to share with you all my next video on how how she's coming along so you can uh, also find some other great projects by visiting designdecor.com peace out